My name is Jean-Claude Manuguera. Uh, I'm a virologist uh, at the Institut Pasteur. Here we are at the CIBU, which is the acronym for, in French, Cellule d'Intervention Biologique d'Urgence, which in English would be Laboratory for Urgent Response to Biological Threats. Our missions are to identify biological threats at the beginning of phenomenon, and this in, this is in case of natural epidemics, uh, accident, microbiological accidents, and bioterrorist attack that might endanger the uh, health of the population. Uh, for the time being, we only really have work because of nature, not because of uh, our, uh, evil people. This lab is the only lab in the Institute and um, in France to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year round. It's true that when there's a real emergency or a situation where the situation is very hot, for example, it happened in the beginning of the pandemic of uh, H1N1 in 2009, then working during the night or working a full weekend was very tiring because we still have to work during the day as well, especially for scientists. So in that case, we have to double the system so people can go and have sleep. Either we receive samples in the lab here at the Institute. Samples can come from France, it also come, can, can come from anywhere else in the world, and we're part of the GORN, the GORN is the Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network. The other way we function is to go there and we do mission in Mexico for two, in 2009 for H1N1, in Hanoi for the beginning of the SARS, where, in the very hospital where the alert was given by the, by the WHO, uh, uh, Cambodia for the beginning of uh, the uh, avian flu, H5N1. Later on, after the phenomenon is identified, at the end there is a specialized lab, for example, the flu lab. Okay? In that case, when the epidemic is um, full blown and is, uh, needs a surge of capacity in the laboratory, then we go and help them. This lab is, um, is uh, special and is the only one really in, in France and maybe in Europe, is that we have two parts, two centers in one lab. One is dedicated to identification of viruses, and the other one is the identification of bacteria. And we need this, because when we don't know what agent is causing the disease, then it can be one or the other. And most of the time, you, you have to split the sample, you have to send it to different labs. We try to integrate all this in, in one lab with two centers, and we try to see whether it's bacterial or uh, viral. And at the beginning, you don't know, you don't really know uh, is this agent known or not? And then you will look for the obvious one. So if you're somebody coughing and fever, you will do, you will search for the normal respiratory viruses. Then when you look for the obvious and it's not that, then it's not determined anymore. It can be something rare, known but rare, or something unknown. And then if we don't find anything, then we go with the heavier tools, okay? And of course, we go from specific PCR uh, or RT-PCR to uh, uh, DNA chips, and then if this doesn't work, then we now go to high throughput sequencing. When there's another lab working specifically on one agent, then we work with this lab, so we don't have to do twice the job, it would be stupid. That's the case for the influenza reference center here in the Pasteur Institute. When there's no special, specific reference center there, we have to do it ourselves. And we, for example, have a, um, a DNA chip where there's um, more than 900 viral species represented on it. So this is already exist in the lab and that should work. We checked in silico with the new H7 and 9 virus. It should also work with the new corona coronavirus. And um, it, it worked when the new H1N1 virus arrived in 2009. So this is very useful. And this part of research is like finding tools that are very uh, uh, which has a very wide spectrum uh, for the identification of agents and this is part of uh, what we work on as a research project. We expect the unexpected, so it's very difficult. We have a, we have a very difficult job because um, we are not we are specialists of nothing, but we are accountable on everything. I'm still very, very proud of working for the Pasteur Institute and, and been so for more than 25 years. And for my job, is, uh, I'm, it's, um, the word is uh, 
exhilarating. It's full of happenings. It's full of uh, new things. There's always something new, always something you don't expect, or, and you're always wrong because you expect something that doesn't happen this way. And this is uh, very challenging, and, and I like it, but all the team likes it.